Welcome to my Pilates Shorts. Today's session is going to be a more of an intermediate to advanced level, so please remember to adapt any exercises that you might need to. The only piece of equipment you'll be needing today is a small resistance loop, and of course you can always make your own by tying up a normal band if you prefer, or of course you don't need to use anything at all, which just make it a little bit easier. But we're going to be using that later. We're going to start off with a little bit of warm up through the body, and we're going to start off on our hands and our knees. So I want you just to take your hands and your arms directly underneath your shoulders and your knees directly underneath your hips. So we're going to go into a little bit of breathing. In through the nose, out through the mouth. And remember, every time you inhale, just allow those ribs to swing out nice and wide. So we're going to bring under the arms, into the ribs. But as we continue with the breathing, next time we exhale, we're going to go into a little cat stretch. So I just want you to let your head release down. I'd like you to tuck under through the pelvis, and I want you to press your spine all the way up towards the ceiling. Let's hold it there to breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to return it all the way back to the centre, and then try and take it a little bit further by pushing your bottom up and lifting up through from your breastbone. Hold it there to breathe in. And again, breathing out, dropping the head, tucking under through the pelvis and pressing your spine up to the ceiling. Holding it there and then breathing out again as you lengthen through and then try to lift the breastbone, push your bottom up, just giving a little bit of gentle extension. Let's do that one more time. In breath and out breath. Breathing in to hold it there and again breathing out to get that little bit of extension. And I want you to then bring yourself back to the centre with that back beautifully wide and open and your head lifted to the line with the rest of your spine. We're going to go into a little tabletop with opposite arm and leg. So as you exhale, slide the arm and leg away from the centre. Take them as far as you can before you float them away from the floor and reach away in opposition. Bring it back down and drawing it in as you breathe in. Same on the other side, pressing it away. And if you can imagine you've got a full glass of water balance at the top of your pelvis, that will hopefully help to keep your body nice and still. Let's repeat that again. So we're pressing it away, floating and stretching and releasing it down as we inhale and again, pressing. Of course, the whole time we're drawing up navel to spine. Bring it down and draw it in. But we're going to put those two exercises together. So this time, we're going to press the arm and the leg away from each other. That is your out breath. And as you now breathe in, we start to round through the spine, drop the head, and at the same time, draw the knee in, draw the elbow in, and try and bring that elbow right across to the outside of your knee. So get a little bit of work into those obliques as well. Pressing it away again as we exhale. We're doing that twice more on this side. Breathing out, drawing it across. Breathing in to lengthen one more time. Breathing out to draw it across. And breathing in to lengthen and place it back down. Let's do the same on the other side. Pressing the leg away, holding it there, and then gently start to round that back, drawing it in, bring the elbow right across to the opposite knee, and then lengthen it back through. And again, drawing it in, pulling it from your center, rounding that spine, and again, pressing it away one more time, drawing it in, rounding that back, Pressing it away, bring the hand down and bring the knees down. And then I want you to walk your hands just a little bit further forward. And I'd like you to come up into a full plank position. Maybe you can always work from a half plank if you prefer. And from here, as you breathe in, you're going to come down onto your elbows. And as you breathe out, you're going to come back up onto your hands. 
Let's repeat that again. Coming down as we breathe in. And coming back up as we breathe out. Let's do that one more time. Coming down. And coming up. But this time we're coming down and we're going to hold it there. And we want to have that lovely long position from the crown of your head right down to your tailbone, right down to those heels. Remember again, upper back is wide. And as we now inhale, we're going to try and slide your body weight forward. And as you exhale, you're going to slide your body weight back. And we're not lifting and lowering from the hips. So keeping the hips in that same position the whole way through. Sliding forward. Sliding back. Just one more time. Sliding forward. And sliding back. Bring it back to the middle. Bring the knees down. Walk the elbows in towards your knees and just take your bottom all the way down and reach the fingertips forward and give yourself a good stretch through. Nice big breath in and out. Good. And then walk those hands in towards your knees. Lovely. Swing those legs under. And I'd like you to bring yourself up into a nice tall seated position so we can go into roll up. So we're going to sit up tall. Those of you who can, please lengthen through the knees as well, but make sure you start off tall on your sitting bones. The arms are going to be reaching out in front. Let's breathe in. And as we exhale, we start with our little tap under and our slow roll down towards the floor. And the arms can just float up to the ceiling, reaching back, stretching fingertips to toes. Arms will lift, head will lift, and we'll just peel all the way back up again into that nice tall seated position. Ready to go again, breathing in, breathing out, tucking under, and slowly coming down. Stretching it away, fingertips, toes, arms are lifting, head lifting, peeling again, all the way up. Nice and tall. Let's do it like that one more time. Breathing in and breathing out. And please remember, you can continue just doing this regular roll up if the next part doesn't agree. Because what we're going to do this time is breathe in. And as we breathe out, we're going to tuck ourselves under and we're going to come halfway down. So we've got to make sure we keep that lovely round position through that lower back. So there's no stress on your back at all. All the work is around your centre. And we're going to do some little tiny pulses as we try to draw the ribs towards your hips. So nothing is moving from your pelvis down. We're going to breathe in. And as we breathe out, there you go. For one. Two, three, four. So tiny, tiny little pulses, squeezing each time that you breathe. Let's do it again for eight, seven, six, and five, four, and three, two, and one. Let's come all the way down. Stretching it away, fingertips to toes. But we're coming up again. Breathing in and breathing out. We're going to be coming halfway up and we're repeating those little pulses again. Let's go again for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're coming all the way up again to the top and we're going to repeat all that one more time. Let's breathe in and up, tucking under and coming halfway down. Hold it there, breathing in and out. Let's go again for eight, seven, six. Remember, we're cemented down. All work's coming from the upper body. Two and one. All the way down. And stretch it away. Arms lift, head lift. Halfway up. Hold it there, breathing in and out. Squeeze it for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
five, four, three, two, and one, and all the way up again, tall. So you've just got one more down now to get us down to the floor. In breath, out breath, tacking under, holding it halfway down there. And last time we're squeezing for eight. And seven. And six. Squeeze and five. And squeeze. Four more to go. Three. Two. And one, and then slowly come all the way down and reach the arms away, reach the legs away. And then we're going to draw the legs in, hug them in towards you, and just give yourself a nice little stretch through those legs. That's it, good. Okay, so from here, I'd like you to bring your legs back up into a two leg hundred position. I want you to lift your head, your neck, your shoulders. I want you to be looking right through the middle of those thighs. We're going to lengthen one leg away and we're going to draw the other knee in towards your shoulder. Again, cementing your pelvis down. We're going to go into single leg stretch. Let's breathe in. As we breathe out, we change for one and two and three and four. Five, six, seven. We're going to do it with a flexion. Push the heel away. Eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it back to the middle. Draw your feet, your knees together. Draw those knees a little closer in towards you and reach down towards your feet. Double leg stretch. So as you inhale, arms lift, legs press away, and we exhale to reach. Lift and reach. Lift and reach. Lift and reach. Lift. Good. Four more of these. Make them big. Draw right in towards you. Press. Last two. Press. Last one. And press. Now bring one foot onto the floor, lengthen it away, bring the other leg up towards the ceiling. Try and climb up that leg a little bit higher. Both legs you're going to turn around slightly from the hip. Underneath leg floats just away from the floor. Let's finish off this with our scissors. In breath and out breath. Changing it for one, two, three. Try and draw it in for four, three, two. We're just going to finish off with doubles. Put the leg in twice. One and two. Change it. One and two. Just twice more. And bring both legs up and in. And again. Just relax it down. I want you to place one hand on each knee, draw the knees a little closer in towards you, take them away from each other, circle them all the way around, and bring them back into the centre. And repeat that again, draw them in, take them all the way around. And back to the centre, let's go back in the other direction, dropping the knees and drawing them in together. And one more time. Lovely. And just bring those feet back down onto your mat, one after the other. Lovely, okay. So we're gonna be rolling over onto your side now to do some sideline work. If you want to work a little bit harder, this is where the loop comes into its own. We're gonna be placing that loop all the way up and just above the top of your knees. So if you want to do this without the loop, you will still get a bit of a workout. It obviously won't feel quite as tough as it will with the loop. So I want you to start off with the legs bent as if you were about to go into a clam exercise. But instead of having your heels underneath your tailbone, I want you to swing your legs a little bit further forward so you're more of a position as if you were sitting in a chair. That's it. Your spine is long. Remember that little pickup under your waist so we're always working around your centre. 
The heels are together, and as we exhale, we start pressing that top knee up and releasing. So we're just going to press and press. Good, and press. Let's do four more of these. It's very important we keep that pelvis nice and still and keep those hips stacked up on top of the other. <sighs> Lovely. So next time we lift the whole leg and we're going to press and release. Press, and particularly if you haven't got that band, make sure you don't bring that leg all the way down. So we're not really resting in between the movements. Squeeze. That's good. Squeeze. Squeeze. Lovely. Okay, we're going to come up for two and down for two. So we're lifting up, up, down, and down. And again, coming up, up, and down. And again, coming up, coming down. And lift, lift, and down, lovely. Four more of these, coming up for two, coming down for two. And we lift. That's nice, twice more, squeezing. And remember the higher you squeeze, the harder you work on this final one. We hold it up there and we press it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, hold it there at the top, lengthen through the back of the knee and bend, lengthen through the knee and bend, twice more, lengthen, good, lengthen and hold it there, flex the foot, let's squeeze it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one and bend the leg in. And gently release it all the way down. That's nice. So we can do the same on the other side. So we're going to swing the legs under. Bring yourself down. Nice long line. A little pick up under your waist. Remember to bring your legs into a position as if you're going to do the clam, but sweep those legs forward. Those feet should now be directly underneath your knees. Starting off with your clam heels together. Let's press it up for eight. And for seven. That's good. Squeeze. And squeeze. Keeping the rest of the body still. That's good. Press. Press. Okay, next time we do a full lift, so we're going to press it up. And the higher you lift, the harder you work. The more resistance you've got in that band. That's good. Squeeze. Four more of these. Press. Press. Lovely. Good. So one more before we slow them down. Up for two, down for two. Coming up, up, down, and down. And again, coming up. And down. Coming up. Coming down. Good. Up for two. And down for two. Again, we're just going to do it four more times. Squeeze at the top there. Three more to go. Squeeze at the top there. Last two. Lift. And down, lovely, one more time on this one. We hold it there and we press it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, but hold it right at the top there and we lengthen that leg. And we bend. And we lengthen. And we bend twice more, lengthen. Then one more time, hold it there. I try and push it just a little bit higher, flex that foot, squeeze it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, and bend it in, relax it gently down. Good. 
and just roll yourselves over onto your back. Now bring the knees in towards you. You can remove the little loop if you're using it. And I want you to take the hands at the back of one of your thighs and bring the other leg down onto the floor. And you can keep that knee bent or you can lengthen it, that is up to you. Now keep a nice gentle hold of the back of that thigh and let the leg just relax. But as you inhale, we're going to do three gentle movements with that lower leg. So we're just going to tap it. One, two, three. And as we lengthen on the out breath, we reach, reach, reach as high as you comfortably can take it. So again, breathe it in, two, three, and lengthen on the out breath. Breathe it in, two, three, and lengthen on the out breath. In, two, three, and lengthen. Let's hold it there. And I just want you to do a little circle into your ankle. First in one direction, then we're going to go back in the other direction. That's lovely. Bring it back to the middle. And let's swap those legs over. We're holding the back of the other thigh. The other leg comes down either in a bent position or a lengthened leg. Up to you. Relax your arms. And as you inhale, one, two, three. Exhale to reach that foot right up towards the ceiling. And again, breathe it in, two, three, and lengthen. In, two, three, and lengthen. One more time. One, two, three. And remember, just to lengthen it as far as you can go. It doesn't matter if you don't straighten all the way through the back of that leg. You should still be able to feel a nice stretch. That's again, circle into the ankle. And we're going to circle it back in the other direction. Good, lovely. And then keeping the leg there, if you haven't already, slide that leg in so you've got a bent leg. And then we're going to take this leg down and cross it either over at the ankle or at the knee. And then you're going to draw the legs in towards you. And let's just get a little stretch in and around the glutes and the hip. That's good. As you're holding it there, let the rest of your body just sink down into the floor. Breathing in, breathing out. That's nice. And let's just repeat that. On the other side, knee over knee, or ankle over the knee, drawing the legs in, hugging them in towards you, just holding that stretch. Good, and then gently. Relax those legs and cross them. I want you to lengthen the legs away from you. I want you to lengthen the arms away from you. Full body stretch. And then as you inhale, float your arms to the ceiling, float the head. As you exhale, gently roll yourself all the way up. Nice and tall. Release your arms down. Give your shoulders a little run round. Good. Excellent. Well done.